When I was studying art history in Florence and going through all these museums and looking at all these artworks and seeing these paintings by Fra Angelico, and I immediately knew there was something different here that really was not about art so much. It was beautiful, but it really focused the mind on Christ himself. This is when artists are not just artists, but also saints. And I think that is what Dominicans should aspire to. We can see in the last few hundred years, modernity is in a way famous for dividing the is from the ought, dividing being from goodness. And aesthetics is one way of trying to get these two areas into conversation with one another and to, to see that connection, that intrinsic connection. Aesthetics can be defined as the philosophy of art and beauty. Beauty is a kind of synthesis between the good and the true, or it, it, it touches on both at the same time, it has a kind of foot in both camps. The original word aesthetics uh, has to do not so much with beauty directly, but with the five senses of our human body and how those five senses perceive the world around us. And so when something is described as aesthetic, it refers to something which comes through the senses. There is a kind of hermeneutic circle, I think, in terms of appreciation of beauty. Our own uh, presuppositions and the state of our souls, in a sense, will tell us what is beautiful or, or what isn't. Beauty in Aquinas' world being that which, upon seeing, gives pleasure, either natural beauty or created beauty, and are finding this common uh, phenomenon of people's response of being filled with awe and wonder when they're in the presence of something that is, if you can say it, larger than themselves. One can ask what is beauty, but one can also ask what is art. Much has been written on beauty, and there's a long tradition of articulating um, a response to that question. But uh, I think the more meaty question, if you want, is uh, what is art and um, what are specific forms of art and how can we conceptualize that? We have a lot of thinkers uh, that have contributed to that from the Thomist um, tradition, certainly Jacques Maritain, Etienne Gilson, who I like to use in my classes. In my theological aesthetics course, I included the thought of Hans Urs von Balthasar, who is famous for, in a sense, creating the field of theological aesthetics. The Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology is also involved with something called the Blackfriars Institute for Religion and the Arts. The Dominican School has its own art gallery, and the art gallery is very important to the work that we do here in our study of beauty and truth and goodness. We examine real artifacts of our own culture as Catholic Christians, and we say, what are those artifacts uh, teaching us? What is the homily that those artifacts are preaching to us? And how can we learn from them and uh, through them from the people who created them? The philosophy of art is of course also connected to the theology of art. So we here at the DSPT certainly would be set up to do both, pursue the question from both a theological and a philosophical angle and uh, therefore have a food for conversation between both disciplines. Beauty, of course, is a glimpse of that beauty which is God himself, and we want to pursue it and reflect on it endlessly.